morning. It's a video that you're about to see. It's a video that you're about to watch. You may need to think, analyze, use your brain a bit. Just amount of that. After us, our professional trainers. Act, speak, read, write, eat, read, and other verbs you can think of. Sit back and enjoy the video. Yo, I'm DJ2, or known as D. And today, I didn't really think of this to happen, but DJ1 is here. In my apartment, and he's having a shower right now. <laughs> Oh, oh, yo, D. The lights went out. I think it's my cat, man. Can you catch me a flashlight or something? Come and get it yourself, bitch! Ah, come on, dude. How dare you? You can't just close the light like. Dude, you okay? Okay? I was in the middle of my shampoo session and you just turn off the light like that? How dare you, dude? I apologize for that. <coughs> ah, forget about it. But how dare you shit it? Last summer, the beatbox fan? <coughs> that wasn't your voice. It's this guy. <coughs> well, however, I think I kind of went to that. Win? Oh, I don't think so. You ain't gained anything. <laughs> Whatever. How about let's set this up like men? Yeah, let's do it like men and not like dogs. Well, before it gets crazier with your nonsense, hopefully the people who are viewing this right now would have an explanation so that they would be able to understand. Like this video is even titled Better Rest. Better rest or you better rest. But because of a moronic mind, how dare you call me a moron? You type of person wouldn't understand the point of view of any state. It goes like good, better, the best. Well, why don't they just call it good, more good, and most good, or good, gooder, goodest? Because it's a one syllable word, dog. Like minion, one minion, minion, two or more, minioners. Most are a lot, minioners. <laughs> Yo, minion is a noun. You can't just put the noun and- Oh, oh, what? You're teaching me grammar now? Like, I didn't learn that from school? Ah, no, man. I ain't teaching. It's just you need to know the difference between a noun, verb, adjectives, and- So you're giving me a chitter right now, huh, Mr. Smart? What? No! Well, if you're smart, then I am smart. No, you're not. You're just moronically genius. Well, let's have questionnaires then. I bet you. And if you can't answer, there or there. Let me go first. Okay. Why is it called Nestle and not Nestle? Because it's the name of a brand. So, instead of Apple, people can call it Apple then. They are names. You can make it however you want it to be pronounced. And if you know the rules in English, you'd probably understand it. So then. Look at the word snow. If you get the letter S, it becomes now. From snow to now. That is just complicated. Or even the word baby. It is pronounced baby as if it is a two-syllable word. But when you remove the BA, the B becomes by. From baby to by could be called bay by. But these are complications here. So you explain. First of all, snow and now are two different words. And as for baby and now, baby is a noun. By is a preposition. So why compare them? Okay, why is it called mouse? That could be rat, that could be horse, what? That could be elephant, that could be called duck. They are names of objects. Okay then, why did the chicken cross the road? Because it wants to reach to the other side. What is the meaning of a black cat crossing your path? It means that the animal is going somewhere. So you think you're tough, huh? Yeah! Didn't you know that there are three months in this year, 2015, that has Friday the 13th? No, February, March, and November. So, there! <laughs> How many legs does the cow have? Uh, four! In two cows, how many legs are there? Uh, eight! In ten cows, how many legs are there? Wait, 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 wait. Forty! Now, how many cows are there that has four legs? Definitely one! Wrong! All of them! Whoa! Oh, yeah! Algebra! I need explanations! What is 4x cubed times 2x squared 
minus 4y squared plus 21 and x to the power of 5 minus 4y squared plus 4 1 5. Exactly. How do you use it in real life? Engineering and computations. Mental abuse to humans. But what if I'm not gonna be an engineer or do computations? Well, there's still gonna be use of it in something. Whoa, check this out. I wanna buy fruit in the market. <coughs> Hello, excuse me miss. Can I have banana x squared and 3x to the power of apples and also 3.5 mangoes over strawberries to the power of 21. How much would that cost? Oh, it's irrational. I should convert it with tangent negative 1 to get the sine of 45 degrees to get 2 theta and divide it by its radius to get the fruit. But how much would that cost? You probably get a black eye. Or they could make jokes with it. Dear Algebra, stop asking me about your ex. She's not coming back. And don't ask me why. Nah, I heard that from somewhere. Well, you wanna hear a joke? I'll give you one. I got this from home. Knock knock. Who's there? The interrupting cow. Get your milk away from my door. But you can find love with algebraic equations. 9x minus 7 i is greater than 3 bracket 3x minus 7 u. 9x minus 7 i is greater than 9x negative 21 u. You move the 9x to the other side, so it will cut the 9x. Negative 7 i is greater than negative 21 u. You times by negative to the both sides, so it will become 7 i is less than 21 u. You divide both sides by 7, so it will become I love you. Like this. Or even further, we can find love with words. What is a ship without the sea? What is the moon without the stars? What is life without water? What is me without you? Okay, okay. What is a mirror without a face? What is light without a bomb? What is Wi-Fi without its password? What is heartbeat without blood? So you think you're so smart, huh? Beating everything up? Well then. Here comes the ultimate question of all time, the scientifically unanswered question that will blow your mind. People asking every time, but no definite answer to define. But now is the time for this stupid question to end for I shall question you. Which came first, chicken or egg? You need to do that? Well, not necessarily. But answer the question. Okay, okay. But before I answer, why don't you answer it first? Well, with the word, thoughts, and genius brain like mine, have no difficulties answering this type of questions. Which came first, chicken or egg? Huh. Just like questioning which came first, tree or seed. To answer it directly, no seed, no tree. Or questions like which came first, electricity or light. <sighs> Without electricity, what's light for? Or questions like which came first, rain? or evaporation. There's water, so it evaporates. When the clouds collect enough water, bingo, it rains. Now, I will shortly give it to you my own theory of which came first, chicken or egg, that the answer is, that the answer is, I have no idea at all. What? Seriously? Not exactly. To answer the question of what came first, is you may need to know the theory of what came first. Chicken or egg is just like questioning 0 or 10. But to go straight to the point, when we were born, we were born babies, not adults. Life starts from the beginning, from 0 to 10, to 100, and so on. Just like chicken and egg. Egg is 0, chicken is 10. Nothing starts from 10, then back to 0. It's egg to chicken. So with this easy peasy question like this, thanks to the genius brain like mine that the answer is egg came first. Well, it was a great explanation. But how does an egg hatch without the chicken or incubator? Eggs need the right temperature to grow. Not too hot, not too cold. And for 21 days without a chicken's care of its egg, there would be no zero, nor ten, nor hundred. An egg needs its mother to be there for 21 days to keep it warm. It's hard work, but hens try their very best to keep their chicks safe, warm, and healthy. Just like a mother and a child, and a dad, 
chicken won't turn to be chickens if it wasn't for eggs. Eggs won't turn to be chickens if it wasn't for the care of the chicken. Who lays who? Who feeds who? But chickens do lay eggs to be there for them and let them grow. So, what do you think came first, chicken or egg? It's the chicken. Yep, it's the chicken. But how did the chicken get there? Are you ready for the dare? Bring it on! I dare you. I dare you to. I dare you to drink. Yeah, let's do the dare. I dare you to brush your teeth. No, 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 no. Then drink, then drink juice, then drink juice. No, no, no. <coughs> How was it? Tastes so awful. You didn't do any dare. Yep, that's why. Because I'm... Genius. Game time. Pop quiz. Which word do you think was used the most? A. Yeah. B. Okay. C. Well. D. Chicken. E. All of the above. If you have an answer among these five, you did great. If you know how many times they were used, you are fantastically awesome. But if you are a I don't mind type of person like me who just don't give a Dog smell, you're moronically genius. Yo, D, did you use my toothbrush? <laughs> no. Yo, D, did you use my toothbrush? <laughs> no. <laughs> Better rest. There or there? Who's the genius now? <laughs> <laughs>